back. Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to Sundays with Spaghetto. Now, it has been quite a while since I've done one of these, and I thought it'd be really nice to get back into the swing of doing them, because the Sunday vlogs made me really happy and such. Now, the reason why I kind of stopped doing them for a while is because I got chicken pox earlier this year, and my skin looked really bad. And I have some scars left over from it, but overall, I mostly healed up pretty nicely, so I'm glad I look human again. <laughs> And that's kind of why I didn't record any new intros for a little while, and I just stuck with the audio type videos. So I'm happy to be back and doing these things, and we hit 10,000 subscribers, and I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. It really just, it means a lot to me that you guys support me enough to take it to that, that number of people just gathered around me and enjoying the stuff and content I create, and it just... It's just unbelievable. I just can't believe that. Now I will be making the um, I will be making a special for it. It's gonna come out soon, and the merch store. I launched it on Discord already. It's live on Discord, so if you want to check out the merch store, uh, you can join our Discord, and I'll link it in the description as well. And I'm glad that you guys were excited about the merch. I had my artist Steve. He helped me with that a lot, and I was really appreciative of him and couple other artists such as Kent and Cartoonish Weeb helping with that too so I'll link all their stuff in the description if you'd like to check out their other works please do they're really talented people it means a lot and also I noticed that yes I'm in the forest I decided to record some of these videos in the forest from now on instead of in uh, the office where I normally do it since it's really pretty out and stuff like that and I have this this quiet space here I thought it'd be nice to do the weekly vlogs down here from now on so if you guys do enjoy that, uh, let me know, and it's time to, I'll answer, I, got, I asked you guys for some questions, and I'm going to read some of them off. So, how's life been? Life's been pretty good. I've been doing be better physically, I've been getting more rest, I'm getting stronger since I um, injured myself last year, and I've been doing a lot better lately. Are you going to be done with DDLC soon? Um, I don't see myself parting from DDLC at least uh, until 2020. I have a lot of projects that I'm working on and I'm really excited about, so I don't see myself, like the anticipation for those projects dying anytime soon, so you got me for a little while longer with, the, with that type of content. And what other things do you have planned for content as of now? I plan on doing some new types of videos similar to uh, Video Game Donkey and Car Call Me Carson in the future. If you don't know who those people are, I highly suggest you look them up. They're really fun t uh, content creators. Where did you come up with the YouTube name? Now, the YouTube name I came up with, I, I'll probably make a long video explaining the whole origin of the name, but ever since I was younger, my parents called me Noodle or Noodle Man, and I kind of liked the whole pasta thing because growing up, it was my favorite food, so I'll... I came up with a similar name to, no to Noodle Man um, while I was mowing the yard one day. I decided to use Spaghetto instead because I thought that stood out a little bit more. And it's also why I always call the MC in the DDLC mods Noodle Boy because it's kind of like a, a little hat tip and a nod to my parents for being the inspiration behind the name of this channel. What would you do if DDLT DDLC 2 happened? I'd probably just play it and <laughs> enjoy myself as much as I did the first time around. And Dan Slovato did announce some more DDLC content coming soon, so who knows, maybe we'll get a prequel or a sequel, I don't know. Are you going to expand your channel to other games besides visual novels in the future? Yes, I will be playing other games. I'm thinking about playing this new game um, called My Name is Pedro, I think that's the name of it. It's about like this banana. I also kind of want to play through Cuphead on the channel and Benny and the Ink Machine. If you guys would like to see those, uh, let me know. I really th think it'd be fun. Who is best girl, Livy, Sigori, Mina, or Spaghetti? <laughs> Obviously, it's a close call between Livy and Spaghetti because I can't hug Spaghetti as well as Livy can hug me. She's sp she's special. Are you really Spaghetto, or is Spaghetto really Spaghetto in Spaghetto form of Spaghetto? Yes. Is the microwave really be like? <clears throat> yes. Thank you for that question. I really appreciate it. Favorite snack? Oh, oh, it's tough. I really, really, really like strawberries, but 
if you're talking about like junk food type of snack, then there's like these uh, there's like these habanero chips I like to get, and can't remember the name of the company, but I really do like um, habanero and jalapeno chips a lot. How did you discover DDLC? Now this is a really long story, and if I were to get into it, I'd need at least a ah stupid bugs. There's bugs out here. I would need at least a half hour to get through the whole thing. But to summarize, I played DDLC to impress a girl I liked. <laughs> and it worked <laughs> at the time. How are you? Is everything good? Yes, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. I always appreciate you guys checking up on me. It makes me glad to know that I have people caring about my well-being. What is your favorite Dang Dut song? I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry. Um, how was your vacation? My vacation was really, really good. We went down to... Um, the Oregon coast. I'm not going to say where because I don't want to have you guys uh, know where I'm going too often or be too close to where I visit. And I hung out there with my parents. We had some Chinese food. We watched a lot of movies. We had some fun. It just was really nice. And we went down to the beach and we caught a bucket full of catfish. Like they had, there's like this, um, there's the, there's this river. I almost said the name of the river. And it's full of like little itty bitty catfish about this big. And we caught a bucket full of them. There was about a hundred in the bucket by the time we were done catching them all. And it was just a lot of fun. And we went and visited some tide pools. And I found a bunch of starfish and some hermit crabs. And the sea anemones. I always love poking sea anemones. It's just so funny how they squish about. It makes me happy. And that's about it for the questions. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Just a nice little update showing that I'm still alive. And I'm going to keep doing these vlogs weekly from now on. So I appreciate you guys sticking by me, and thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. So, as always, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.